attack. Now he don't want to have sex because he's scared. Sorry, attack my heart. <laughs> this is not about you, sir. <laughs> no, I'm telling you how wrong this dude is. All right. Then you saw a phone, the text on the phone said, I love you too. Then you confronted the man about it. And he said it ain't no big deal. He was giving her some romantic advice, which he was. But the thing of it is, is you told him if he continued to send messages like that, that she was going to need some romantic advice too. Mm -hmm. All right. So he changed the password, put his finger on and everything right now. So now she got creative and went through his messages and found out on social media that he had advice to her was to leave her man and be with him. Mm, mm, mm. And you find out he introduced her to his mother as his future wife. That broke her heart. Then you wrote him a note. You told him that you'd be at your sister's house while he, while you figured this out. Then here the whole crux of the whole letter right here. He called you, said he loves you, but he's not in love with you. You need to be in love to marry somebody. I, everybody on this show can tell you that. You got to be in love. For sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you got to, to, to marry somebody. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, that that's a bummer right mm -hmm. there. He also said he's not in love with the new girl, but he's very close to it. Did you not get a text that said, I love you too? Mm, mm, mm. That's right, Steve. That's right. It was in the text. Mm -hmm. So now he just trying to let you down soft. But then here he goes. He apologized to you and said you got every right to be hurt. Mm. But I shouldn't be upset. See, this this dude right here, he he know how to draw the difference between upset and hurt. Like, them two ain't the same damn yeah. thing. Whatever with him. Right. You got every right to be hurt, but you shouldn't be upset because we were just dating, not married. For four years. Fool, we lived in your house. Right. <laughs> This ain't dating. We live together. In some states, that's called common law. Mm -hmm. So technically, he's single and so am I. Why did he stay with me four years and use me until something better came along? Uh, first of all, sister, stop beating yourself up. You don't know that something better has come along. Hmm, that's true. You don't know that. Let me tell you something else I want you to do. Uh, we had talked about marriage, and I guess he had other plans. I was blindsided. I feel like a fool. I'm moving out of his house in his life. Where did I go wrong? You didn't go wrong nowhere. You didn't go wrong. See, that's what happens to a lot of ladies. A dude becomes an a-hole, and then all of a sudden, you take the blame and wear it like you did something. You got a man that done lied. We wasn't... We wasn't we were single. Fool, she live in your house. You find a message that say, I love you too. He tell you he ain't in love with her, but he close. How the hell are you close in love? <laughs> what? What is that? Excuse Almost me. Almost what, there. <laughs> what is that? Just I'm about. not in love with her, but I'm close. Kind of. <laughs> that ain't, ain't no songs about now, it's songs that say, I believe, I believe, I believe I'm falling in love. Mm -hmm. That's a song. But you, the key word, he said, I believe mm -hmm. I'm falling in love. There, there ain't no song out there going, stay with me. Mm -hmm. I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm almost in love with you. Hey, come on now. Stay with me. I'm almost there. I'm almost in love with you. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Damn near there. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> but I don't know when. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Wait a while longer. I'm almost in love. Post your comments on today's <laughs> Strawberry Letter. Okay, Steve Harvey sure. FM. The new hit song, I'm Almost in Love. <laughs> on Instagram and Facebook, check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand as well. All right, shout out to... Uh, uh,
Steve Harvey now. They over there dealing with their own stuff. It's 4 16 p.m. 9 10 I just found that really funny though. I don't, you know, I just um I'm a fan of this. And I'm so glad they moved it to YouTube. It's so easily accessible and you know, everybody is in an uproar with Shirley and, and their husband and Steve. It's like, ooh, every day is something new. Um, So, yeah, I don't own the rights to none of this stuff. And I think that's it. This one, this one is called You're Single Unless You're Married. So, it was a whole letter or whatever. <clears throat> I just wanted to get that last part about... What Steve was talking about that there's no song that's like maybe I think so I think that's it hmm. alright my name is Erica LaShawn please like share and subscribe thanks bye